Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Infinite Star Heart. I'm Shia, here to do your June monthly reading for all of my Aquarius, Aqua, Aqua Gang, <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Signs. Anywhere you may have Aquarius placements, this reading may resonate for you. Do keep in mind that it is general, so only apply the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Alright, and um, do keep in mind the roles can be switched. Alright, I can be saying, you know, you, it may be the person that you are involved with, okay? Can be masculine or feminine as well, alright? Um, if you would like to book a personal reading, you can. You can email me at infinitestarheart at gmail.com with any of your inquiries or questions. You can still book through my website at infinitestarheartcreations.com. Um, I do need to make some updates on the website. All right, so bear with me for those of you that have checked in as well, okay? I've um, sort of neglected a little bit. <laughs> all right, but um, we are in Gemini season, all right, and we are pretty much out of the retrograde period, all right. We're in that shadow phase, all right. So um, you can expect some communication during this time. Some things may be revealed through some truth that may be spoken. Um, oh, and the next retrograde won't be until September. Okay. Also, do try to find time to relax. Alright. Uh, some of you all have been putting in a lot of work. And um, with summer break approaching or being here for some of us already um, find ways you know to balance your time with work life and home okay um, you know try to stay present and um, don't overwork yourself don't do too much all right things may be taking off pretty fast for some of you all or things may be slowing down um, just depending on where you are, what you got going on in your life, okay? Um, as far as business-wise, things may be taken off for, for you, all right? In other areas, things may be slowing down, okay? And that can be vice versa as well. All right, and lastly, do try to stay present, okay? Um, you can... You know, plan for your future by focusing on the things that you can do now and things that you would like to see as a result, all right? So, um, being present, staying focused on the now, because um, at any given moment, you can make a difference based on whatever decision or uh, action or choice that you make. Okay. All right, so um, overall, the energy this month, be the light that you want to see. Okay, um, also, we are entering the 666 portal, all right? During this time, the energy is just going to be magnetized, meaning what you are putting out you know, expect that energy to return. So whether you are putting good out into the universe, all right, or towards others, okay, you can expect to see that return to you. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs. I hope everybody is doing well.
Let's clear the energies before we get started. This is some messages from our ancestors, angels, God, higher source, whatever you subscribe to. See what are the important messages Spirit has for you this month. Alright. All right, the first card you got that's showing up here is share your voice, okay? Come out of the cave. This is persecution and expression here. So something you may feel like you need to say, speak on, or whatever the case may be. Maybe you've been keeping quiet about something, okay? Spirit is saying that um, this is it's a good time, all right? Okay, nature signs here. Be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continuously. We need only to open our hearts and minds. So pay attention to any signs and synchronicities during this time, Aquarius. All right. Um, you may have a spirit animal around you or... something to do with animals okay you may be um well Aquarius you are humanitarian humanitarianisms I'm trying to think of the word <laughs> like is it humanitarian you're very innovative and um you know, you like to give back, you like to help, all right? You like to do good in the world, okay? And you have stargazing, all right? When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation, okay? So, Spirit Guides want you to um, stargaze, all right? This is a form of meditation, all right? Simply set your intentions while gazing at the stars. Some of you all may would benefit, all right, if, um, if you're in an area where you can be outdoors at night in an open area and just, you know, some of you may be doing that, okay? <laughs> I know I do. All right. Um, I feel like some of you all are making a wish as well. Maybe you're um, waiting on the right timing to do something. But it's going to require you to speak up about it, okay? Okay. Here at the bottom, look in a book. Whatever your, your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring the insight you seek. So some of y'all may be studying something here. All right, you also have friendship underneath that. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. All right, and take a break. Life's a work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I know um, myself, I've, you know, gotten back in the gym, you know, just trying to work out, tone up some, and, you know, just um, build my weight, you know. <laughs> so some of y'all may be focusing on your, your health. You may be trying to lose weight or whatever the opposite. Um, also, you're looking you know, for like-minded people, okay, some of you all may, you may be, you know, wanting a friend or someone that, um, someone that will support you with your ideas, someone that, um, understands, all right, 
yeah some of you it's like you need something different there could have been a friendship or someone you took it you took a break from as well yeah transformation all right let's keep going let's see what houses and planets to be affecting you most this month Some of y'all could be studying. All right. You got Pluto. Okay. So Scorpio energy, a transformation, definitely a renewal, death and rebirth for some of you all. This is you closing a cycle and starting a new one as well. Okay. So something could have been, something could be intense for you during this time. Yeah, healing. I was going to say some of you all are, um, you're clearing some um, past trauma. Okay, and you're healing. You're releasing things that doesn't serve you. Okay, this can be self-doubt, shame. Um... You know, just anything that's hindering your personal development, okay? Some of you all are being called to forgive as well. All right? That way you can move forward. You're looking to join forces with uh, possibly a Gemini or Virgo here, okay? Communication here as well. So maybe you're wanting to bring something to someone's awareness, okay? This can be uh, someone's perception on something, some information or something that you're learning. This can be some trade or idea. Yeah, North Node. So you're heading into your destiny. All right, so this can be soul school. All right, this is the lessons that we learn here on life. Some of you can actually be in school or you're thinking about going back to school. Okay, you're um, in alignment to fulfilling your purpose here. The North Star is... Um, some of y'all may be connected to the North Star. All right, but this is basically your journey. All right, your path leading you to this very moment where you are in life, okay? Yeah, Gemini here at the bottom, Virgo again. Wow, in the 11th house, Aquarius, your energy. Yeah, so it's like you allowing a situation, taking a risk. Um, you can have Virgo or Gemini in your chart as well. Scorpio. through your phone by Nicki Minaj is on maybe significant so some communication that could have uh, ended yeah that could have ended a connection as well alright so yeah I feel like you're being called to go in a, in a new direction here Okay, let's see. Let's use um, Kipper. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mature woman here. Occupation. Box. Often in courtship. It, the way I flipped it, it was in the reverse. So yeah, what I'm getting is um, a connection here that could have ended. Maybe somebody um, was in their head confused about maybe what you did for work. 
okay or maybe they're wanting to heal a situation they're wanting to work with you all right but for some of you all your um, some occupation may be significant you got the community despair and the cheer man Okay, so this could have been someone that you've worked with in the past. All right. This mature man can be an older male figure known in the community. Maybe you've worked with this person. I'm seeing the not hiring sign. Okay, well, so maybe something ended with, with this person that she was working with. Yeah, I'm getting a situation ended. This can be a career, a partnership, okay? But this person is, is thinking of you. They're thinking back. I feel like they see you as being stable, all right, mature as well. Let's get some uh, symbols and letters out here. Okay. So again, um, this Mercury energy can be Virgo as well. You got Leo. Okay. So Leo rules. It's governed by the Sun, and. Um, Something may be illuminated to getting you having to have the strength and courage for something. Okay, you got cancer energy. All right. So this can be home and family, um, people that you have. some type of e emotional connection for okay Capricorn energy this can be career um, enterprise your uh, empire stability yeah with Taurus energy so your assets and finances it's like your um, that's been a focus here so you may be in the same boat with like Capricorn and Sag energy okay so yeah being wise during this time and Aquarius your energy so yeah um, taking the leap of faith that's what I'm getting. Taking risk as well. All right, the symbols that I'm seeing, you got the infinity sign, so infinite abundance for you during this time. Okay, um, infinite opportunities that will be presenting itself. You got the horseshoes, so definitely luck and opportunity is on your side, all right? It's like whatever you touch will turn to gold kind of energy. Um, you got the cross here, so religion may be significant or someone's um, religious beliefs or background. Okay, this can be differences. Um, someone that is 
spiritual or consider themselves to be spiritual versus someone that's religious, okay? It's um, a little different as far as the beliefs go. You got the watermelon here, so paying attention to your um, diet. You may be eating more healthy, so including more fruits. Watermelon is a great um, fruit, okay? You got the um, have broken heart here. So yeah, some of you all may... Recently, you're in this energy of coming out of feeling disappointed. Okay. This can be a breakup for some of you. You got the elephant here. Okay, so all about being wise, mature, making sound decisions when it comes to you and those around you. All right, and you got the rocking chair. So yeah, children may be involved, home and family as well. The letters that I'm seeing that may be significant. Got the letter B. B, first to last, initial. U. Got W. Got U and W. But we got U out here twice. So I was saying double U. <laughs> and then you got W. <laughs> so, um... See any more letters? B U and W. A BMW may be significant. Let's see, you also got the letter N, the letter G, the letter Y, and the letter T. Yeah, so someone could be buying a new BMW. <laughs> so I'm getting New York may be significant. Tennessee. I'm seeing you definitely um, have completed a cycle as well. All right, or you're starting a new one. You got the uh, champagne glass here, wine glass. All right, you may be taking yourself out, enjoying yourself, having a glass of wine to relax or whatever the case may be. All right, you got the crown. Okay, so definitely in your power here. All right. Um, you're on your throne, taking charge, taking leadership, okay, with Aries energy, um, too. So, yeah, um, how you're being seen this month, your interests, what drives you. All right, so, um, yeah, this may be even what someone is thinking of when it comes to you. They may be questioning how they can work with you somehow, how they can heal a situation. Okay. We Could Be Better by Janine is on, maybe significant to someone. All right, so I'm going to use my deck and get some messages. All right, protect your child or children here. Coming out first. You never lost sight and faith. Stress kills, absolutely. 
Alright, so, um, some of y'all may be, like, very protective when it comes to your children. Okay, but you can't, you know, you can't stress yourself, you know, worried about if you're making, you know, the right, if, if you're doing right, you know, you only can make the best ch decisions that you feel is best for you. Okay. I am on the right path as well. Yeah, you're on the right path. You got Capricorn energy showing up as well. You may have Capricorn in your chart. Wow, snake. Okay. Snake energy. I am filled with beauty and peace. Libra energy. Some of you all may be getting justice. From, one, from someone who could have snaked you. Yeah, getting information about you, asking people that may know of you, okay? So they can be researching information, looking you up online. Younger sibling, wow, my sister's keeper. Is that so? October may be significant, okay? Um, the Scorpio Libra energy. Take action on a new opportunity here. Sugar daddy, sugar mama energy here. Staying in a connection for money. Well, you have the power to do anything. You're unstoppable. Okay, Taurus energy showing up here. A Taurus may be significant. Any of the signs I called earlier as well. Scorpio, Libra. Stop picking yourself apart, okay? This could be self-criticism. You feeling like you're not good enough, all right? Beating yourself up. You don't look like what you've been through, okay? Someone else may be um, stuck in a situation and um, someone else is like going through a hard time. And you could have went through a rough time as well, but it's like you you don't make it look bad or whatever the case may be. Yeah, you got ice god, you may be an ice god, of course. Aquarius energy. Venus as well, okay, Taurus, Libra. Try to turn everyone against you. Oh yeah, you're getting justice for that. The man or woman of your dreams, wow. They got beef animosity towards you. Yeah, somebody was playing games here. They would get karma for trying to hurt you. You close the cycle, yeah. This can be family, friends, ex-lovers. Alright, somebody um, could be emotionless that you're dealing with. They have no love for themselves. Yeah, it's like this person shows love and attention to the wrong people. How you treat yourself versus how you treat others matter. Yeah. Something could be going on two to five years or two to five years may be significant. So someone, this can be a family, friend, relative, finance, legal fees. Someone's uh, facing some type of legal matter as a result of uh, consequences of their actions. Yeah, some of y'all have been protecting yourself. All right, you got a feminine energy that may be jacking off to your kicks. Try to make you about something you're not, okay? 
Secretary of State as well. So the state is involved. Oh wow. Tap into your inner child. Do something you remember doing as a child, okay? Be fearless. So yeah, some of you, you're in this creative energy. Okay, you're um, tapping into your gifts. You're paying, a, <clears throat> paying attention to the to nature signs. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody that's uh, stuck in the early 1900s. <laughs> Basically, um, they got old belief systems, okay? This can be that older um, sugar mama or sugar daddy energy. Any other messages? Wow, can't be trusted around your child or children. Can't be trusted around your children or any children. You may want to look look them up here because the first came, card that came out was protect your children. You'll be supported. Your love is unmatched. Someone um, you know, or this can be you, is living an un unhealthy lifestyle, overindulging. This can be addictions as well, not making good decisions. Your heart will heal. Okay, something could be could have been a mystery to you. Yeah, some of you all definitely can benefit from prayer or meditation. Um, whether you're religious or spiritual, okay? See, I'm going to use my other deck here. You could have been dealing in a connection um, that was on a deal here. Yeah, phone calls, texts, emails. This can be on social media. All right. What else for my queries? Broken and bitter, yeah, your heart will heal. Someone um, could be upset 